Are you going to home? Are you going home? Where are you going? What are you doing? You're watching a video. My name's Ronnie. I'm going to teach you one trick. Finally, you will understand why in English we say, I'm going to school or I'm going to work. But when we talk about our beautiful, warm, and cozy home, we don't say to. Why? 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 <laughs> I don't know. It's just English, isn't it? I can give you some clues. I'll give you some words. You will get this right away. It will be easy for you to do. Mm -hmm. So, if you look at this sentence, are you going home? A very, very big mistake that everyone says will be, are you going to home? And I go, no, 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 to, don't say to, don't say to, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Are you going home? Yes, 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 yes. Don't say to. But why? You learned that when you are going someplace, you say to. For example, are you going to bed? We don't say to the bed, by the way. We just say bed. Are you going to bed? Are you going to work? Or you can use the past tense. You say, did you go to work? Did you go to school? Did you go to ingvid.com today and check out a new lesson? But when you say home, you do not use to. Hmm. So you know the rule maybe that this is a noun, this is a noun. So when you use going to a place, which is a noun, you have to say to. And then you come along and find this beautiful home and Ronnie freaks out because you say to. And then you don't understand why. I don't know. But I will give you a list of words that are places. But all of these words on this board you cannot use with to. So, are you going abroad? You cannot ask someone... Are you going to abroad? Um, if you look in a dictionary, oh, a dictionary, one of those books, or if you look on an online dictionary, it'll tell you that these are adverbs of location, whereas the other ones that you've learned are nouns. Huh? But hold on. Home is a noun. Home is just this big exception going, no, I am a noun. I don't want to have two. All of these ones are not proper nouns. They're adverbs of location. Let's go through. Underground. Woo! Underneath the surface of the land. If you um, have ever been to uh, London, there is a big system called the tube. It's also called the underground. Most places... Uh, in the world, call it the underground. In Canada, we call it the subway. Sub means under. So you can say, I'm going underground. I'm going underground. If you know the jam, wow, what an amazing band, Ronnie. I know. You will know the song called, I'm going underground. Maybe by the magic of video, we'll put that video for you. I'm going underground. I'm going downtown. Or you could say uptown. I will just sing songs for everything. Uptown girls. A little bit of Billy Joel for you. Um, uptown, downtown. You don't need the two. There. Here. Anywhere. Nowhere. Somewhere. You don't need two. In. Inside, out, outside, upstairs, downstairs. Don't use to. They're not nouns. They're places. One other thing to be very careful about, please. When you say this, you want to say upstairs and downstairs. Too many times I hear people say, I went downstairs. Oh, only one? 
Just one stair. Ooh, I've made it. I went upstairs. And then what did you do? You just stood there? Wow. Don't say downstairs, upstairs. Please use all of the stairs, go up. Okay, that'll be fun, more exciting. You can fall down the stairs too, that's fun. But again, we don't say two. I'm going downstairs. Oh, I'm coming upstairs. If you are confused, or if you have ever been confused about when to use two, the only advice I can give you is please, Remember this list of words. Once you have remembered this list, you'll go, oh, that was easy. That was easy. Yes, it was. Thank you. Goodbye.